long days of summer in the woodlands are coming to a close. The solstice has passed. The earth once more has tilted away from the sun. The woodlands enter the autumn. The wisdom of the woodland changes. It shifts to another level. We can learn so much about life and our individual lives from observing the natural world around us. Whilst the summer reflected our drive, our determination, optimism and insight for potential opportunities for more growth, the autumn's example offers us a reminder the season's influences our view of the world. The autumn represents maturity and a more sedate and wise pace of life. The autumn represents the old age, brings the possibility of seeing the overview over the longer periods to dwell and reflect on life's purposes and meanings as the strength of our go-getting attitude recedes. As the summer heat recedes, so too does our physical strength. Though still active, it moves into a slower pace. We reach the autumn of our days. Physical dynamic projects give way to deep reflection and time to digest our life experiences. The plants are the harbingers of the autumn and winter. They have now set their seeds and they will soon return to the earth for the winter period. These plants are preempting the trees. Their seeds are now open to the elements for the rains and the winds to do their job of dispersal. To scatter and project the seeds away from the parent plants into new territory and fertile and also non-fertile ground. New progeny which has to leave the area of the parent plants so both are not competing for resources in the same location and so they experience different climates and challenges of growth adding to the multiplicity of all of life. Some plants provide fruits and nuts to transfer their genes further afield. They provide food for the animals like the voles, squirrels, rabbits, etc. But also for the birds. And as the law of nature says, equal exchange takes place. Sustenance for the animals, seed dispersal for the plants and trees. But also a way for their progeny to be taken out into other areas of the woodlands in a multiplicity of ways. The burdock plant has found a unique way of transferring its seeds to other areas. It uses hooks on the seed cases which get attached to the animal's fur and thus another method of transference takes place. Most people are only aware of the fungi for a few weeks in the autumn when these colourful toadstools decorate the arboreal landscape. Most of the fungi we see is the fruiting body but the main body is hidden from view 
and consists of a mass of tiny thin threads called mycelium, which break down the wood of dying trees and the leaf litter. The toadstool's role is to produce and disperse fungal spores for the wind and the rain to carry away to some new areas. Some slugs also are agents of dispersal, carrying the fungal spores into the earth on their bodies. This reminds us we only see a tiny glimpse of any being's life expression. And on that instant snapshot, we often make judgments, not aware of all the challenges, difficulties and life force each of these beings has experienced and continues to experience during their earthly existence. As the plants and trees shed their seeds, we too recognise it is time to let our treasured ideologies and dreams and plans out into the world. Understanding some will come to physical fruition, some will not. That is part of the natural laws. There can be an understanding that many will not be successful in the fullness of germination it is natural and that does not make us a failure or a success. We realize these terms are purely mental judgments. The tree does not worry about its seeds growing to full maturity. The trees and plants know when to close down their creativity and to start the process of building their inner reserves for the coming periods of light and warmth. The autumn is the time to start the process of reflection. The long days of light will start to shorten. The temperature, because of the distancing of the sun, will begin to fall and growth will slow down. Man has lost the sensitivity to these changes, these clues that nature offers us, and has chosen instead to design ways to ignore them and to plough on at full speed into the imagined future. We need to become aware of the seasons again, to take notice of what nature is showing us. We have lost the meaning and true purpose of life. We have moved so far away from the true nature of ourselves. We are no longer in touch with the circadian rhythms of the planet. Time for growth is now limited. Man is always looking for more and more growth, more and more productivity. Continued growth is unbalanced and will lead to eventual destruction. The seasons have a natural rhythm, a harmony, a chance to experience change, to experience variety. Movement
and stillness. The perpetuality of man's unceasing drive is unharmonious and damaging to itself and the planet. The autumn invites us to recognize that we have to slow down and start to go within. To start to reflect instead of constantly chasing outside activity and drives. The shortage of light and the longer nights encourage us and the trees to go internal, to build our resources to nurture our reserves, to spend time absorbing and quantifying our experiences of the preceding months. A period of inner reflection, a time to reassess who we were and who we have become. A time to release our old patterns and our hang-ups. The trees change colour by releasing enzymes which break down the cellulose in their leaves. They remind us that we too need to release and break down all ideas that do not serve the new us which will later emerge. provided we have dissolved the old. The yellow of the leaves represents our third chakra, the solar plexus. This is where our sense of will, our sense of self and our mental attitudes reside. It is a time to review our mental approach to life and ultimately our sense of self. The woodland in autumn appears to be a place of death. There seems to be death and destruction everywhere. The decay is so evident all around. But this is the view from the human eye alone. In fact, many species are just in a dormant state. Suspended animation, the sleep state. Each winter the trees remind us of this need for an inner journey at regular times in our lives. Man as a whole tries to circumvent this process, divorce himself from the rhythms of the earth ever chasing goods and desires and outcomes which are mind-led, arrogant enough to take on and even ignore the elements. The woodlands remind us to take our cues from nature of where and when balance is required, where the pace has to change, where we have to go to the other polarity. The manufactured goals of man are now outside the natural laws. He is destroying the balance, but the trees remind us that there is a longer, more substantial cycle at work.
the oaks and the sequoias remind us ages of man come and go rise and fall but they remain implacable as the many varied dreams and aspirations of man return to dust mother nature will continue for eons whether the species called man will still be here is another matter. <laughs>